You're looking for a camera to start doing a little bit of film photography, but you're not really sure which one to get. Now, there are a couple that I would recommend. You've got the K1000, which is an awesome camera. You've got the uh, Canon AE one. You've got my favorite, which is the Canon A1. And it's one that I own personally myself. I actually managed to find this particular one boxed in mint condition and I've used it pretty much ever since. Why I'd recommend the, these three cameras over most others is because you have your full automatic modes there as well. So if you're coming from a digital camera, it's really easy just to adapt and go with it. Anyway, today I'm gonna be shooting a model and uh, gonna load this up with some Kodak Gold to get some shots. It's very bright today and we can get some stuff. Speaking of, yep, yeah, I am sure. Yeah. How's it going? So the model's just arrived. This is Benny. You're not gonna be able to hear him because he hasn't actually got a mic on at the moment, but we'll sort that out a little bit later. We're just in front of the Cardinal Museum. It's actually closed today, so it's actually a prime opportunity to take some photos. Let's do it, shall we? Uh, so you see the look behind you? What, you're dead center. So like where I am, you see? Um, up a few more steps. Amazing. Just let me get exposure. I want an F11 it wants, but I actually want to shoot it at the highest shot speed possible. F56. So I want you to move your body in the opposite direction of where your head is facing. So body off that way a little bit, head off that way. Yeah, perfect. I want you to look off that way. Now I want you to kind of like, make it look like you're falling back. So just like, yeah, yeah. Put a hand towards the camera, directly towards the camera. Okay. Other hand, just kind of like this. Perfect. Sick. Okay, that's really sick. What I'm gonna do now is switch over to the uh, video camera and grab some video shots. Video shots. Really great English there, sure. On this particular shoot, I was actually shooting with the S5 Mark II X for a review on that camera. Link up here, some shots also. It was pretty fun. It was nice to use a big fat camera rig. Let's get on with the film stuff. Later on then, are you? Yeah, I'm just an architecture, so. Are you an architecture student, are you? Yeah. Oh, nice. So I, I just got the chance to sign with Martin last week because I was so busy with it last week. Last time I'm just working, so. Yeah, 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 fair enough. It's really bright today. We've got some beautiful shadows here by Cardiff Museum and it's shut, which is ideal. Yeah. So we don't get bothered. We might get bothered by the security. So we've actually got some beautiful light here at the moment. And I just want to get uh, Benny set up in a really cool pose. So what I want you to do, Benny, is you see this line directly down the center? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. What I want you to do is point your body out in that direction. Yeah, okay. perfect. A uh, bit more towards me, so 45 me yeah perfect the way in which you work out the metering inside these cameras is it kind of tells you what you need to set your aperture to once you set your shutter speed and what your camera reads as asa so at the moment it's telling me to do i've set this to 1000 to make sure it's as still as possible and i get lower aperture points so it's at what am i shooting i'm shooting at a thousandth of a second asa 200 because i've got gold in there and this is going to be at f 2.8 This is really cool. Okay. No, no. So before we had him facing kind of away from light, because I wanted to see kind of what silhouette kind of light we could get. Now he's going to be facing towards the light, so we should actually get a lot better exposure on his face. It's going to go. So I've got some really cool shots there. We're playing with the light quite a bit at the moment. Got kind of like a neo, noir, noir, noir kind of like look to it. So half and half on his face. I'm gonna get that with the film camera now as well. Okay. You enjoying yourself, Benny? Yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah? Uh-huh. Quite cool. I've never actually been able to shoot in this location where there's nobody here. And it's such a cool location. Yeah. I like no, it. I love the column in here. Huh? Oh, the light is here. The light. The light's just awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So cool. Sorry if it's a little bit too overexposed, people, in the light areas. Uh, it's just going to be, unfortunately. OK, perfect. Light's back out. Mm -hmm. So, just tad that way. Start. 
Yeah, no, no, no. On the actual Canon A1, I'm shooting with a 50mm f1.4. It's probably one of the sharpest lens Canon FD actually had. And uh, it's actually a lot of fun, and it's not too expensive either. Oh my god, look at that, that's sharp, that. Okay, I'm gonna go for a center shot here, make sure the lines are all okay. And uh, yeah, you're looking cool. Oh my God, oh, you get my knee just gave out. <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. That was sick. All right, I could shoot here forever, but I think what we're gonna do is actually head over around the other side where there's some more kind of like interesting architecture. Are you enjoying yourself, Benny? Mm-hmm. Good. Bye. We finished up at the front of the museum and then went round the back to just do some filming. It has been a lot of fun today, but let's head on to the shop. Pretty happy with the photos I've taken so far. So to unload the film, what you have to do is press this button down here. And then just filming some camera stuff as well. Huh? Uh, just the camera shop in the local area. Yeah? Okay, you know what you want. You should be a jailer. Yeah? You know that? No, not at all. You should be a jailer, that There you go, a little fact, the more you know. Once you have the film in your hand, it feels like so many questions. Have I taken the photos properly? Have they come out nice? And have I got any good shots? I think that's the magic oh, of it. Oh, look, there's a, there's a film. Hey, man, how's it going? Yeah, can yeah, I get this you? developed? Of course you can. Absolutely fine. No problem at all. Making this sound like this wasn't just pre-planned. It's just like yeah. a candid, but it's not. Yeah, totally candid. But uh, you can Would drop you your like film in. Would you like a little blue slip, though? Uh, I, I, I'd love a little blue slip. Just a little blue slip. Make sure you bring that in with you when it's ready for collection. It takes about seven to ten working days. And uh, then you can come and pick up your film. Amazing. There we go. Cool. Fantastic. Can I take your name and details, please, sir? Uh, Furby Tets. Furby Tets. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. After a short time, I had the photos back and I decided to have a look through them. Uh, I was really impressed with the majority of them. The exposure was wrong here and there and some of the angles I didn't necessarily get completely straight. But again, this is something about film photography that really helps you learn to become a better photographer and creative is you can see the mistakes and realize you can't change them, but you know for next time in order to actually make your photos better in the future. It's what I really like about them. When it comes to Camera Center UK, you can actually get high quality tiffs, which give you a little bit of leeway in post. And here are going to be some of the photos that I changed a little bit later on to best kind of suit kind of what I was hoping to get out of the actual images. You can't always get the perfect shot. And because you haven't got a raw file, you haven't necessarily got as much data in order to play with. Most of the changes I've done here have just literally been to a little tweaks to exposure, some of the uh, bringing out the shadow, and bringing down the highlights here and there. Anyway, let's get through it, shall we? So this is the first one. I just added a little bit more blacks to it and dialed down some of the highlights and then also reorientated it as well to make sure that the lines are pretty much straight for the most part. This one I liked quite a bit. It's a really nice composition, him centering the frame, really dark shadows. Again, when it came to this kind of like trying to silhouette him with the light, I think it worked better from the other side personally, but I do think it was quite nice. The reason why I wanted to shoot this way was the angle of the shadows coming towards the camera rather than away, but also there's some really cool shadows looking the other way as well. Next one again, bringing down some of the highlights and then bringing, in, bringing out some of the, 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 the darker colors, the darker tones. Again, straightening up the shot a little bit and it's kind of got that sort of like fashion-esque kind of like look to it. Uh, close up again, just minor tweaks. This is probably one of my favorite shots of the day. It's uh, a little bit flamboyant, a little bit kind of like fabulous, if you will. But I think the wind catching his hair was uh, particularly fantastic and the pose I think worked out really well. Minor tweak, I was thinking about changing the orientation of it to make the lines a little bit straighter. But I think the Dutch angle works quite well for this photo. Okay, so this is a shot from the other angle and I think this is the shot that had the highest potential. But as you saw earlier, that was the photo that was taken without any edits done to it. And then this is the photo where I've changed a little bit of the 
tonal range of the actual photo. So I brought down the highlights a lot, so you've actually got some detail in the skin there. And then I brought down the shadows um, a little bit more. And I think the photo itself is actually a lot better for these little tweaks here. I did really like the photo anyway, but, but you know, when you see something you want to change a little bit, because, you know, I, I shoot pretty much digital all the time. I'm always like, I want to change it and make it better. Do you get what I mean? Uh, this is the other shot without his glasses. I think I prefer the one with his glasses because it's kind of covering a little bit of his face and his kind of like way he's put his head up is a little bit better. That, you know, it's a very simple composition in terms of like a minimalist kind of like look to it. But again, I think I prefer that one personally. Um, again, something you can't necessarily always get correct straight away is the uh, manual focusing of it and this is something that i need to get better at myself and uh, use my film camera a little bit more because this is something i don't necessarily do all the time but it's something that i actually really enjoy doing so a bit of mr focus on that i think the photo still works well did bring down the tonal range there just a little bit and again, Mr. Focus here, kind of focused on the back of his hair, but it kind of works and, you know, blurry photos are now in, right? Again, I've been with my photography recently. I've noticed that I've actually been kind of doing these kind of photos where I've got like a lot of space in the headroom. I kind of like that, you know, positioning them in the third, um, the bottom third and, you know, seeing kind of what's around us. And when it comes to using architecture, it works sometimes. I think this works a little bit. This works quite well. Again, it's not positioned straight down the center. I wanted to try a different composition with the shot and I think it worked out quite well. Uh, this is a photo that you haven't actually seen yet as well as we were moving in between the museum and going around the back to shoot some more stuff with the video camera. I, um, I noticed this kind of like really interesting composition here where I wanted to kind of like position him behind the railings of the steps going up. Again, I like the photo, I like the composition. It's a bit of a weird one. I, I like my weird angles to be honest with you and I think it worked out quite well. Again, if you dislike it, make sure you tell me. And then this is a more kind of like more natural kind of frame shot that I took on that time. Again, bringing out, making sure that the blacks are truly black and then bring down some of the highlights. Um, you haven't seen the photo before. I might put it in. I might not. I don't know. But uh, really happy with this shot as well. I think film photography really gives you a new kind of like lease on life when it comes to photography. In my recent podcast with Expired Film Club, we actually talked about how he kind of like makes sure he doesn't end up tiring himself out from using photos and what he does is looks for the most ridiculous camera he can find possible and then takes some photos with it to just kind of give him a new lease of life when it comes to his art form and what he does i think it's a really interesting way and i think film photography can do that for you digital nutters out there but anyway if you like this video make sure you like follow and subscribe if you want to see more have a good day